I want to talk a little bit more on the key commands or the keyboard commands for Windows 8. If we come down here to the lower left hand corner and get to the start menu, and then we just start typing in key. It'll find the on-screen keyboard and we're going to use the on-screen keyboard for this example. If we click on the little Windows key here on the keyboard, that'll take us to the start menu where all the applications are. If I click on the, the Windows key and the D key, it'll take us back to the desktop. So let's go. To, let's click on the Windows key, and we'll go to the Start bar. Now, sometimes you can hit the Escape key, and it will go back to the last thing that you were running. So if I hit the Escape key now, it goes back to the desktop. You can also do the Windows key and the X key. That's going to pop up the System Tools from the uh, on the desktop so you can install programs do your power options event viewer system device manager disk management computer manager command prompt most of these are system tools the task manager which we'll talk about in another video control panel which you might be familiar with with other windows operating systems you can get to it from here file explorer uh, the search, searching for files, run an application, or back to the desktop again. Okay, so you can click on that. Let me get the keyboard back. Let's open a few more applications. So let's go to the start screen. And let's open, uh, let's open finance. Wait for that to come up. Go back to the start screen. Uh, we can open up sports. Wait for that to come up. Go back to the start screen. And uh, let's open up maps. And we can... Uh, what this is asking us is if we want to turn on location services. Um, if you're using maps, it's a good idea because then it knows where you're located but if you're worried about your privacy then you want to block it I'll choose allow I'm going to choose close here so anyways let's uh, talk about some some more of the commands uh, if I hold down the alternate key and the tab key that will allow me to see and I can scroll through the apps that are currently running now remember, if it's got this monochrome icon, it's an app that runs from the start menu. And if it doesn't have a monochrome icon like this, it runs from the desktop. So we can scroll through and see what other applications are out there. We can also go, if you saw me before, going up here, we can see our apps that are running this way too. So we see settings, desktop, finance, and sports. Okay, you can also do an alternate, you can also do a shift tab, and that also does the same thing, shows you what's on the screen there. Okay, you can do a Windows, no, we, we should turn these off. You can do a Windows R for the run command. So if you see it down here in the corner of the screen, it allows us to run a command in Windows. We can do a Windows Z, which uh, we'll have to be in an application for that. So let's go back to the, uh, let's do a, let's go back and let's run Internet Explorer. There it is. Now if we, it says we're not connected to the network, which is okay. Now if we do the Windows Z, it gives us the same commands that we would get if we did the right mouse button click. So if I click on the screen, 
if I do the right mouse button click, I can add more tabs, I can type in a path. So it's the options for the application is what the Windows Z command does. Again, Windows Z, same thing as the right mouse button click. Okay. Now if I want to go back to the desktop, Windows D for the desktop. I can do a uh, Windows and an L, and that will lock the screen. So if I do that right now, we lock the screen here. And then I'm going to move my keyboard actually off the screen. So I can type in my password here, and you can't see what it is. And that will get us back onto the screen there. We can do a, let's go to the uh, desktop, so we'll do a Windows D, and we'll run a couple of applications here. And now if we do a Windows M, it'll shrink everything down to the desktop. Another thing that we can do is, if you notice this here, it's, it's the first thing on my taskbar. This is my taskbar. This file manager is the second thing on my taskbar. So if I do a Windows and the number one, it's going to run the first program on my taskbar, which is the Internet Explorer. There's the Internet Explorer. Windows 2 is going to run the second thing. And that would be the file manager. So I can keep adding things to my taskbar, and then I can use the Windows shortcuts to run them. And you can actually be in another application, so you could be here. We'll go into uh, we'll go into the Internet Explorer, and if I want to run the file manager, I can click on the Windows and the two, and it'll go back to the desktop and open up the file manager. I can also do an Alt. And it's not on this keyboard, but I can do an Alt F4. And what? Let's let me do it here on the regular keyboard. If I do an Alt F4, first of all, it's going to close all my windows. And then when they're all closed, then it, it, when all my windows are closed, it's going to come up here and it's going to allow me to shut down, to switch users sign out, sleep, shut down, or restart the computer. And again, that's an Alt F4. The F4 key on the keyboard, the function key, the F4 key. Okay, we'll cancel that out. Let's get the keyboard back. When you uh, run that F4, it pretty much closes all your programs. Another command, if I have an application running on the desktop, we'll just open up Internet Explorer. Actually, it's not connected to the network. But uh, let's say I have another application running on my desktop, and I'm over here on the Start menu. If I want to peek at the desktop, I can hold the Windows key down and the comma down. Now it, it's kind of like a toggle, so let's do it again. Windows key and the comma. As soon as I take my finger off of the comma, it's going to go back to wherever I was. So I can peek at an application. If you're running a program and you want to see if the program's done or doing a big spreadsheet or something like that, running a report, you might want to peek at the desktop to see if it's done. So there you go. So basically just holding the uh, Windows key down and peeking at the desktop. Okay.